Okay, so here we have the automated control valve for the EV-1 flight vehicle. Uh, this is the Hobby King servo attached to a 3 8 full port stainless steel ball valve. Uh, the gears should see are a 2 to 1 ratio, so we're doubling the output torque from this servo. And unfortunately, the Hobby King servo only turns 90 degrees, so it's got to be replaced with a similar servo that operates at 180 degrees. Here you can see the replacement servo. It's a uh, Turnigy servo. Same similar size, but slight modification to the bracket will have to be made to make that fit. Um, here's the Arduino control board. And what you see here is just an Arduino Mega. And uh, the Mega is being used to send a pulse width signal to the control pin on the servo. So the orange pin on this three pin header right here is the control frequency. And we change that by turning this potentiometer here. This is just set up as a voltage divider. And the divided voltage is being sent to an analog input which is read uh, by the Arduino and that is translated to an angle for the servo. So when you turn the potentiometer, you can hear the servo turning. Just look at it here. And then we have our benchtop power supply. This is providing about 7.2 volts right now. These servos are high voltage servo and they can handle 7.2 down to about 6. Uh, so that's the basic setup right there. As you can see, it's being held together by a bar clamp. It's got to be replaced with some tack welds once the development is complete. Let's get a view of the port because the servo is only turning 90 degrees. You can see that the ball valve does not completely close. And I'm just taking a look at the code. If you can see that or not. It's the developmental code displaying the current angle of the servo on the Serial monitor, so you can see that changes in real time when you turn the servo. That should be it.